Ladies and gentlemen, today's Chicago Bulls video is going to be an interesting one as we are going to be talking about one of our own today, someone that in my opinion is due for a breakout season and hopefully this season can be it. And we're going to be discussing what can make a breakout season and what it, what can definitely ruin that breakout season. And if you don't know who I will be talking about today, he is Wendell Carter Jr. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to Wendell Carter Jr. and the Chicago Bulls and what can we expect from Wendell and if he will have his breakout season. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below what do you expect from Wendell Carter in his third NBA season because at the end of the day Wendell Carter is a very interesting topic because of his his past seasons as well as what he believes or what I believe he can achieve in his third season now I just want to let you guys know that I am feeling a little bit under the weather today so if I do stutter or maybe I say something that I don't mean or anything like that I make a few mistakes here and there I do apologize and that's probably the reason why unless I'm just bad at what I do but anyway let's talk about Wendell Carter Jr. So, here we go. Wendell Carter. Look, um, it, it, I think when it comes to Wendell Carter, it comes down to what do you think would be a good enough season for Wendell Carter? Because his first and second seasons, despite having very bad injuries and not playing for a lot of those seasons, especially in the second season, I think he really rose up to being a fantastic player. And I think that we should be continuing to develop Wendell Carter. I do think he's one of the more important players on the team. And I do think that he's probably someone that not a lot of people talk about with the Chicago Bulls because you have the Kobe Whites, the Larry Markkinen's, the Zach Levine's, all are amazing scorers and are highly entertaining players. But Wendell Carter is often that one that's over there that is just as good as these guys, but just does not seem to get that recognition with a whole lot of them. So with the Chicago Bulls, it's extremely interesting because I, I believe your average may be around 12 points and nine rebounds or something sort of that. I'll put the stats up on the screen. Very, very interesting player because he's not the scorer. He's not the one that's going to shoot a bunch of mid-range three-point shots, corner shots, all these things. He's not someone that will do that consistently, but he's a very, very good, versatile and good fundamental player for the Chicago Bulls. He's very good at defense. He will he will stand his ground on defense. He'll guard anybody on the court. And most likely, he's going to stop those people on the court. He's a very good rebounder. At the end of the day, his size is six foot nine, I believe. He is a very, very good rebounder for his size, especially when he's playing at the center position. You have to admit that that is something that I don't see a lot of Chicago Bulls players doing what Wendell Carter does. He can shoot the mid-range. Again, we saw that in his first season. We saw that in his second season. I think the next point of his game is probably to be able to shoot the three-point range consistently because that's something that he just has not been done. He's not been able to do as of late. And of course, we do need to discuss his injuries because Wendell Carter has been injured. And I said that despite the injuries, he's had good seasons. But the point is, you could be the best player in the world. And yet, if you're not on the court half the time, if not all the time, then there's no need to have a player like that. And I'm not trying to say that we need Wendell Carter to lead the Chicago Bulls. Definitely not trying to say that. But I think another goal for Wendell Carter to have a successful third season is to stay healthy. I want to see at least 70 games out of Wendell Carter this season. And I know the, the COVID season cut Wendell's season even more shorter than what it actually was. But Wendell was injured for a lot of that season and in the first season as well. It's not been a consistent ride from him in terms of injuries. And it's been like that with all of our team. But Wendell Carter especially because you want to see him consistently have a run of games, consistently perform at a high level, consistently continuing to get those double-doubles and consistently getting better and better and better as the Chicago Bulls. In my opinion, Wendell Carter has just as much just as much upside as everybody on this team. The fact that he's not the shooter, I don't want my center, especially if we have other players on the court that could do the scoring. I don't want to see my center shooting um, contested shots and, and um, being at the three-point line the whole time. I know that's a big thing in the today's NBA, and I, I'm not expecting a Nikola Jokic type season from Wendell Carter. That's not what I'm asking for, and I don't think that's what we need at the moment. What I do need for Wendell Carter 
I need a little bit more in terms of being available. I need a little bit more from Wendell Carter in terms of being more confident. I think Wendell Carter got into his groove a lot in the second season. But in that first season, I don't think he was a confident player. And I think it showed in a lot of ways. But Wendell Carter, in my opinion, in the third season now that was coming up and in his second season that did already happen, this was obviously this season, I saw him become... a get into himself a little bit, get 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 good, get competitive and get confident. And I think that's something that Wendell Carter will continue to do in the third season as well. There's a lot of positives to Wendell Carter. I think the only major negative you could talk about is the injuries, which I mentioned before, because the injuries is something that needs to get sorted. The Chicago Bulls, the entirety for injuries is, is just piss poor. I mean, you can never get the same five consistently playing out there. And I think if we did do that, we'd probably be in a much better state than where we were when the end of the season came. But I do have to say that Wendell Carter, in my opinion, is one of my favorite players on the Chicago Bulls. I think he's better than the majority of the centers in the league. And I do see him getting better. And I don't think that it's going to be a situation where Wendell Carter does not succeed with Chicago. I truly don't believe that. I hope he can last here long enough because I do feel like people are slowly starting to turn their minds about Wendell Carter just because of um, of other centers around the league doing so many crazy things. I mean, you see uh, Jokic taking fadeaway threes and making him in the NBA playoffs. You see Joel Embiid um, basically playing, playing the point guard positions and sometimes with the Philadelphia 76ers. You see Bam and Abayo doing some insane things as well. And I think Wendell Carter is very versatile, but he's not, he's not going to be taking crazy fadeaway shots and making them. And I think that's where people often... Um, have their issues with Wendell Carter. But I don't think that's an issue for the Chicago Bulls or Wendell Carter because we have Zach Levine. Zach Levine can do everything those players can do. We have Kobe White. Kobe White can do everything those players can do. We have Otto Porter, a great scorer. We have Larry Markkinen. Larry Markkinen is a fantastic offensive threat. I think the best thing about Chicago is how versatile we can be on the court and off, off the court. And I think Wendell brings a lot to that because... Defensively, we don't have a player like Wendell Carter. We have Gafford. Gafford's a very good shot blocker, but I don't think we have someone that can play one-on-one -on -one defense on the perimeter. I don't think we have someone that plays um, post-game defense like Wendell Carter. I mean, that's the thing here. I think that's very special that what Wendell Carter can do, and he's very, very versatile in his offense as well with his pick and rolls and pick and pops, mid ranges, finishing around the ring is very good as well. I think Wendell Carter, in my opinion, will absolutely thrive in his third season. I'm expecting very similar stats because, again, he's not a scorer. But I want to see better defense. And that's that's hard to say because he is a great defender. But I do see better defense with Wendell Carter will absolutely take him and us to the next level. Just imagine if he was averaging a double-double by the season's end. And he was very close to doing that. Just imagine if he can do that while playing more games. He's going to raise his stock tenfold. And Wendell Carter is an extremely talented player that a lot of people I believe outside of Chicago and within Chicago can have a very good career here so in saying that what I I don't expect him to get a double double I would like him to get a double double but I see just if he got the same stats as his second year but he's able to play all the games in the NBA season I would take that as a breakout season I would take that as a step forward in his progression I would take that as a player that's ready for the next level and can handle the opportunities can handle the pressure and can stay fit enough to do all the things that the Chicago Bulls need them to do and of course, if you're going to talk about Wendell Carter, you have to talk about his position change because so many people, including myself, believe that Wendell Carter wants to move to the power forward position. I think he's even said it himself that he will try to talk to management about moving him to the, to the power forward position. So when you're talking about the power forward position, Wendell Carter is a very undersized center. And I think that's a big um that's a, that could be a big issue, but I do think a lot of centers are going smaller these days. Look at Bam Adebayo, Draymond Green. Look at Draymond Green. Look at these. Look at these players that can play the center position and are a very similar size to Wendell Carter. I don't see being a small center as an issue, but of course Wendell Carter played a lot of power forward in his college days, and obviously that's where he got his best stats. So I think he believes if he could move to the power forward position, he could do a lot better with the Chicago Bulls, and I don't disagree with that. But in my opinion, if you're going to move um, Wendell Carter to the power forward position, do you do you move Larry to the center position? Because Larry is taller. Larry is a very good offensive threat, and maybe he could cause damage to a lot of centers in this league. But defensively, Larry Markkinen probably 
and can't guard a lot of centers in this league. So it's a big topic of discussion. Wendell Carter might thrive at the power forward position. At the end of the day, it's all about versatility. Maybe we play Wendell at the center's position and at the power forward position because we can. We have that ability. We have a coach that can probably do that very effectively as well. So... I think this is a perfect fit for Wendell Carter this season. This is a season where we look at Larry Marker and we say we need him to, to improve. This is a season where we look at Zach Levine and we say he's going to improve. This is a season where we look at Kobe White and we say he's going to improve. Not many people look at Wendell Carter, but you do think he's going to improve when you look at him. And I wanted to make this video specifically about Wendell Carter because I believe that not many people like to talk about Wendell Carter because he's not that flashy player. He is the player that does all the basics and does them very well. And because of that, he's not someone that people say is a highlight type player or a highlight reel player. And if you actually go back to a lot of things that Wendell Carter says, Wendell Carter hypes himself up a lot. And I think he believes that next season will he be his best. He said it before and I think he'll keep saying it every year. So Wendell Carter, this is your season now. You have all the opportunities in the world. Let's see what you can make of it because Chicago Bulls fans want you to succeed. I think you do resemble a lot of similar centers that we've had back in our days. And maybe it's time to see what you're truly made of. Can you be successful at this level? Can you stay healthy? All these questions should be answered in the third season. And I think if you're asking me, do I think Wendell Carter will have a breakout season? I think if he stays healthy, he will have a breakout season. But again, if health does end up getting in the way, he might have a very similar season to his first and his second. And it might just be to the point where we don't know if he's an injury prone player or he's just been unlucky. And that's a big topic of discussion if Wendell Carter does end up getting injured again. I'm not saying injured in terms of missing games here and there. I think every player will have to miss a game here or there. But maybe like a two month to three month injury is a big thing. And having surgery is a big thing. And Wendell Carter's had some of those over the past few, um, the past few seasons. So I think we need to see a healthy Wendell Carter to assess Wendell Carter. And again, we have a lot of years left with Wendell Carter because his rookie contract, I believe, doesn't end until two years' time. So we're going to have next season and the season after that of Wendell Carter performing. And the higher he does perform, I do think the Bulls will have to pay. Pay up. But at the end of the day, let's see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you are new to the Ada Sports Show YouTube channel. Again, I apologize if I rambled or I repeated myself. I am feeling under the weather. Um, but man, I... I I do this YouTube thing for, for fun, and this is definitely something to take my mind off things. Uh, so yeah, if I do not make a Bulls video for a while, I do apologize. Uh, I do have a few other videos to make as well, but again, you guys are Bulls fans, so I don't think you'll be watching all the other ones. But yeah, I might be taking a, a day or two break. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, but have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys whenever I do post in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care, and peace.